I'm live. We already got nine people watching. Now seven people watching. What? I just come online and people go away. I think that's what happens. Okay, so happy Sunday. Um, I just gathered up some stuff to show you and the things that I'm going to show you, the prices that are on them are the prices that I am offering them to you for plus shipping. If you're local, then um, I will arrange a time and day that we will meet here so you can come and pick it up. Hi guys. Hi Newton's Cupboard. But welcome guys. This is something I'm going to um, probably start doing on Sunday afternoons depending on um, the traffic and if it does pretty well. I pretty much sold almost everything I showed um, on Friday. So fingers crossed that will happen again today. Hi guys. Hi Kathy. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Veronica. So Mark is here helping. Um, well, he's just kind of here for moral support more than anything, I think. Hope you guys are all having a good day. It's starting to get really cold here in Indiana. I don't know how it is for you, but it was in the 60s, which is uncommon for Indiana in January. But now I think it's down in the 40s. Hi, Pammy. Hello, my mother. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started showing you some of the things that I pulled. Some people have told me some things that they wanted me to show. Hi, Alex. Chapter 2 Vintage Co. is watching. Hi, Pammy. 70 in Georgia. I was, It was in the high 60s over the weekend, so I, I can't complain. That's pretty, um, pretty rare in Indiana. Okay, so as you can see behind me, I have pulled some goodies and I'm going to try to keep flipping up so I can see the comments and if I'm missing something if someone's asking a question Mark is back there hi Jenny Mark is back there to kind of shout out a question or someone has something hi Mama J Mama J she got a little something that I sent to her and the UP USPS kind of destroyed it a little bit and Luckily, everything's okay, and, and, and it's in good hands now, so I'm glad. Okay, 60 degrees in New Jersey. Some people were getting a lot of snow, but I'm glad that that's not the case for us. Okay, what am I going to show first? I have kind of a variety, a lot of, lot of variety of things. The first thing I'm going to show are some advertisement tins. I love these. I like to be able to put them in a display. Um, they just add a little bit of something to your decor. This first one is a Drano tin. It's on this lithograph tin. It does, the back of it, you know, does have a little bit of dings and some, it says poison right here. But um, just, it's empty. There isn't anything in it, but it has this really cool Drano graphic. And the cool thing about these is they still sell Drano today. So I think that's kind of neat. It's from 1929 and it is $15. Now, the way that this is gonna work, I probably should have said that before I even started showing anything, but the first person to send me an email at poshypate at gmail.com, they'll be the first person that sends me the email and says that they want this to claim it, then it'll be yours and I will send you an email. Um, I will need your shipping address so I can get you a shipping quote and we'll go from there. So, hi from sunny Arizona. I wish it was sunny. It's gray in Indiana. It's going to be gray until March in Indiana. Probably from here on out for a little while. But this Drano can is $15. So, send me a message. Poshypate at gmail.com. The next thing I'm going to show you is this Cleanobly. If you know me, you know I pronounce things mispronounce things all the time. Oh, Mark just put my email in the chat so you can see it there too. It will be in the description of the video once it go, gets posted as well. But this is Cleanobly, Cleanobly. It cleans toilet bowls. But look at the graphic on there. This little guy is cleaning the toilet. And it is, I don't think there's a date on here. It also says poison. It does have the little flip tab it is also empty and I have $13.50 on the Clean Oval. And it's kind of like a navy blue with this yellow uh, graphic on it. 
The bottom of it is dented a little bit there, but still a really neat graphic. It traps and invisible outlets made by U.S. Sanitary Specialties in Chicago, in New York. So there's that as well. What other advertisement piece did I grab? Oh, this is a really neat piece here. This is the Little Bo Peep Ammonia bottle. This has really cool graphics on it. It has the original paper label. Now, the label does have a little bit of, you know, issues there. It must be rare for a man to be cleaning a toilet. I don't know. Mark cleans his toilet a lot, so I never more antiques. How are you doing? Um, so this is made by Little Boy Blue in Chicago, Illinois. But look at the little girl on there. Fleece, fleecy white quality. The original paper label. There's no chips in the bottle at all. It also is embossed on the back, Little Bo Peep. And this bottle is $18.75 for this. So if this is something that you're interested in as well, send me a message and I will get you a shipping quote. It says Little Bo Peep Ammonia. So just this part of the bottle is really neat with, but you know, the fact that it has the paper label on the front of it is pretty neat. Oh, it says, if you like Little Bo Peep, try Little Boy Blue. All right. So that is that. And then another thing that I have, it's kind of along those same lines, I guess. Hi, Emma. My daughter's watching. She went back to college yesterday. We don't like it when she leaves us, but she has to, she has to leave us eventually. This is a wax lined creamed cottage cheese. There isn't, I don't think that there is a, well, okay, here it is on the top. Farm fresh cottage cheese. It is from Cooperative Dairy Incorporated in Elkins, West Virginia. So it is the wax lined cottage cheese container. So it's kind of a paper product. Um, the, the graphics on this are really neat as well with a little Dutch girl on it. And it has this really lime green and red. So this looks really good in a display as well. And I have $15 on this little container. You don't normally see these, with, the, especially with the, the lid on it. It's new style. And if I'm, if you want to see something that I'm not showing, like if I'm, you know, not showing the inside, if I forget and get a little sidetracked, then let me know if you want to see all angles of it. I can show it to you. So there's that. Okay, and I think, no, kind of, uh, Again, on the same line, I have this really cool, if you like bottles, I have tons of bottles. So I just kind of, we just kind of got here and I just started grabbing things that I was gonna show. So this is a really cool Royal Crown. So it's RC Cola. It says it's copyright down here by Nehi. And on the back, it says bottle sterilized before filling contents. 10 fluid ounces, property of Nehi Bottling Company. It has RC. There isn't any embossing except for on the bottom. It's the Dura Glass on the bottom. There aren't any chips or cracks in it in any way. It's a really cool. It kind of has this textured glass here at the top with the painted label, and it is $8.50. I love using bottles in decor. I like the bottles with red and white lettering. So this one has the yellow on it as well. So that's really, really, really cool up on a shelf. All right. Next thing. I like this. This actually was in my house for a little while and I brought it here to the shop and now I'm selling it to you because I like to kind of change things out in my decor. And it is this shredded wheat recipe box. It doesn't have the cards on the inside, but it is in really good condition. Now, these were something that, uh, that was a promotional thing that Nibis, or the National Biscuit Company did. And this one says, yeah, it's a, just a reproduction. It was 1973 from Nabisco. But it's in really good condition. There, really, there isn't any rust. There's just a little bit of wear on the front. Hi, Cindy. 
And there's the top of it, shredded wheat. And I have $10 on this. So this, again, looks good stacked up in your decor. I love the colors on it. Really anything red in, in aqua or teal kind of grabs my attention. So it says the original Niagara Falls product. So that is $10. Again, poshypate at gmail.com. If there is something that you're interested in buying. Oh, so this little thing is a little on the, let's say the high end, a little bit of a high end. Um, your mom used to put bubble up pop for her. Oh, in the one of the iron, when, one of the bottles, the little squirter thing that people used to use for ironing clothes. Listening while driving. Well, hi, Pink Elephant. I'm glad that you're listening. Um, I don't know if I can describe things, but you can go back and watch it later on while you're listening. It's kind of hard to see or not see the things that I'm showing. But this is a really cool bottle. And I I don't know. I don't think it. this is the original lid that's on it, but it's a lid that fits on it. Let me just show you the bottle, but it is this TikTok relish with the paper label. You can see the label has a little bit of, you know, it has some age to it. Um, it is not embossed. Well, actually it is embossed. It's embossed on this side. I don't know if you can tell. I actually have Scrabble pieces in it, but can you see the embossing there? It has a carnation lid that I don't think originally went with it. But this is uh, manufactured by Nash Underwood in Chicago, Illinois. It's in great condition. There aren't any damage. There isn't any damage to it. I actually do have $31.50 on this. This is a harder to find bottle, especially that it has the, um, the paper label on it. <laughs> Hi, Jody. Jody loves vintage wiener dogs. So she's always looking and I don't have any, Jody. I it was in the back of my mind thinking I needed to find some and I didn't I didn't see him. Oh, mom said that I'm frozen. Am I still frozen? Am I frozen? No. My technical advisor is making sure that I'm not frozen. Okay, he says I'm not frozen. So that's good. Mama says I'm frozen. So this is also available. And it has Scrabble tiles in it, which I got, I get these Scrabble tiles. Just they're, they're nice to use as filler. I used to do some crafting with these, but not in a long time. I, there, there was, there's never not been any time for any, any kind of crafting in my life. Okay. And then Mark wanted me to show something for the fellas that like, might like some advertising pieces. Um, this has some stuff in it, but we can empty it out because I don't think that we can ship it with liquid in it but it is this texaco carburetor cleaner in the tin um it is 16 fluid ounces the tin itself is in great shape it's there's no dents there's no rust on it at all um it is in really nice condition you can see here it's texaco hi thirsty thrifters and this and it has the screw top lid and this is 1850. So, oh, and there's 82 people watching. So make sure that you're that you give the video a thumbs up. It really does help. And if this is something that you want me to continue to do, I'm going to continue to do that. And like I said, until we decide how we're going to liquidate and what we're going to do, um, I will still be doing these vintage sales live at least once a week. So carburetor cleaner from Texaco. 1850. Okay. What else? Okay. I'll start showing some of the little, the little kind of kitschy things that I like that I know other people, I know a lot of my viewers like the, them too. This was, um, something that was also in my personal collection is this little tea bag holder. And this is, I will hold the bag. She does have some issues with her. Hi, Lisa. Sunday videos are perfect. I, I'm kind of thinking that Sunday is probably going to work a lot better for most people. I may still uh, do an occasional fun things Friday. I don't know. We'll see. 
but I will hold the bag. You've had the whole set of these. Yeah, I, these I were I was collecting these little little tea bag holders for a while. I've sold all of them except for no, actually I have sold them all. I have a couple of them floating around the shop, but I want to say it's just like Miss Dainty or I can't remember what her name is. Hi Janice, I'm happy that you caught me live too. She is marked 648 on the back. She has some repair to her. You can see here right on the chip of her or the tip of her spout she's been glued back together so that is the only issue with her and she is six dollars she still looks cute in a display but yeah i know that they they used to have the wire holder with them but she's just pretty neat. i like the colors on her and another thing that um this here i feel like I'm, I'm like having like a yard sale so it seems like a lot of this stuff is stuff that i've had in my house and then i brought it to the shop I bought this, I think, on an Instagram sale. Yes, Alex. I've been telling Alex she should do one of these sales. I told her that today. Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. needs to do a sale, too. So stay tuned because she's going to do one soon. But this thing I bought on Instagram because I thought it was cool and I liked it and my family hates it. And I'm sick of them complaining about it. So I brought it to the shop and it's this toaster cover. Look at the pink stitching on that someone has done this needlepoint um actually this actually there isn't needlepoint on it it's just kind of painted so this is not embroidered it's kind of painted on but it has a really neat pink and green color to it and we make toast just about every morning or a toaster stool or a bagel and they were sick of having to pull this on and off all the time but it's in really good condition there aren't any stains on it at all. So it's a nice shape and it is $15. And I believe that that's what I paid for it when I originally bought it, but I liked it. It does fit. I have a KitchenAid toaster, I think, and it fit fine on it. So it is available. Yes, from her garage. I told her the same thing, Junie. I told her the same thing she needs to have one from her garage. So hopefully she'll have one soon. Okay, what do I want to show next? How about some, a piece of enamel? So I have this little enamel bucket. It has, it's just this blue spongeware enamel. It has the bale handle. It does have a dent here in the bottom, but you really can't see when you're displaying it, you really can't see that dent. Um, the inside of it, it is rusted out a little bit on the inside. You can kind of see some, some some light coming through there. This is really neat enamel pot and I or granite ware pot. I have twenty six fifty on it, and it this looks really neat with some you know floral arrangement in it or some vintage kitchen tools in it, so you could use it as a display. But this stuff's getting harder and harder to find. It's a highly collectible thing. And um, it, it is getting a lot harder. I have a lot more granite ware um, and enamel ware pieces that I need to, yeah, with a little plant in your kitchen. Any linens or doilies? I do. And honestly, I need to just probably have a dedicated sale to the doilies and the linens that I have because I have, literally have a basket full of them. And it's kind of one of those things that, they're kind of a pain. They were a pain in the butt to, to price. So I just kind of put them in a basket and separated them and just put a certain price on them. So hi, Snowbird. Hi, Cynthia. Yeah, these these enamel pails are just the size, too. It's just a really unusual size. So I have $26.50 on the enamel pail. All right. What else should I show? How about this enamel teapot or tea kettle it's this really pretty yellow it has the little bamboo wrapped or raffia wrapped handle and there's the spout there it's in great condition it is marked japan on the bottom and i don't know that maker's mark i'm sure some of you probably do uh, the inside of it it has been used it's a porcelain pot 
yeah, the, the yellow is really, really cool. Now, I mean, you could use this. I don't know that I would because that enamel is pretty, it's, it's pretty gone on the inside. Can you see that? But just as a display piece on your stove, it's a really, really neat piece. Now, it does, now I bought it this way, not even realizing, but I just wanted to point out that it is, I don't know why these are here, but there are like these little, I don't even know if you've seen this. There are these, I'm looking at my husband. I just noticed this now. Um, the, there's like these little bread ties on it. I don't know why, because it has the, it has the, all the hardware on it. So I don't know. That's a mystery. I didn't even, I couldn't even tell that. Do you see that right there? No, no. I don't think that that's, that's not detrimental to the handle because it's, it's on there just fine. I don't know. But this is $18 for this really pretty, does have a little spot there where the enamel's gone. Enamel porcelain teapot. Yeah, the yellow is awesome. I do love this yellow. Can you imagine that on, you know, on the, on the top of a shelf? It just really, it does really pop. And the shape of it is really nice too. So there is that as well. Okay, another thing. Someone wanted me to show lunch boxes. I'm going to show one tonight and I'll show the other ones that I have. I'll only show one lunch box every time I go live because I do have several. Did sell the ET one, sold that one last Friday. This one is Yogi Bear. It is Yogi Bear. And on the other side, it's got this little chalkboard. This one is also made by Aladdin um, in 1974 is the year before I was born. Now this one does have some some wear and some rust to it. You can see there it has some pitting in on the top. Hi from Massachusetts. I always have a hard time saying Massachusetts. Massachusetts. When I decorate my shop I'm always looking for those awesome bright colored items. Yeah things that will attract people's eye. Yeah the, it, it's so important to do that. In fact in the shop I have areas that I have like a blue section and a green section. And and to me, I find that aesthetically pleasing and my customers really came in and they really liked it too. It's a little hard to maintain, I will have to say, but it is aesthetically very, very nice to see. Uh, do you have any vintage Santa or elves for sale? Well, you know, if you know me, you know that I'm a Santa hoarder. And I don't, we, <laughs> We actually came in here and packed up all the Christmas things. And then while we were doing that, we had the discussion of what we were going to do. We don't like being tied down. Uh, yes, I do. Mark, will you go over where the toy section is and look for a couple Snoopy things? Uh, there's a Snoopy bank, I know. So I guess I do have a couple Snoopy things. They should both be over there on that shelf. We just don't want to be tied down anymore. The weekends were shot. We just, we had, we had no time to do anything else. So there should be a clear bank and there should be something else Snoopy, like a Snoopy dog house bank. We'll see if he can find it. He found one thing. Hi from North Texas. I love Texas. We've been there a couple times and we fell in love with Texas. I love it. Um, the lighting in my store must be on point. Um, no, I've always said that it's dark in this shop and I kind of always felt like I was in a cave, which bugged me. But we do have one, two, three, four, five, six overhead lights that are new. They're, they look old, but they're new. But I use a lot of lamps. As you can see, I've got lamps everywhere. Lamps everywhere. That light helps, definitely. Hi, Barbie Girl Thrifter, Ontario, Canada. I bet it's cold there. North Texas as well. You only found the one? Okay, he only found the one, Snoopy. I'll show it to you in just a second. But the lunchbox is $23. It does not have the thermos. And it's got, I mean, it's got some, it's got some rust on the inside. Um, but it is $23 without the thermos. Still is a really cool piece. Just that bit of nostalgia. I love the side here with the chalkboard on it and a little boo-boo down there. So, from the great state of misery. Yeah. My husband used to go to, for, where did you go in Missouri? Warrensburg. Warrensburg, Missouri for, um, he works for the Department of Defense and he would go to a, a factory there. I don't even know what, I don't know. 
but he would go there. He'd go to Missouri and Arkansas. And I'm like, and other people in his area would like get to go to Hawaii and, and other places like that. And he's going to Missouri and Arkansas. So that's not, I mean, no offense if you're, if you're from Missouri or Arkansas, but I want to go somewhere warm. You had your first snowfall yesterday, an inch gone. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of wish it would snow. If it's going to be cold, it may as well snow. Yeah, this is from 1974, this lunchbox, 1974. All right, let me show you the Snoopy bank. Um, it's just this figural, clear Snoopy bank. Doesn't have any embossment on it anywhere. Um, and it is $8. So if you were liking Snoopy, then this can be yours for $8 plus shipping. All Everything that I'm selling will include shipping unless you're local and you want to pick this up. And before I leave here tonight, I'll check my emails so I can grab everything and take it home. And I'll be sending invoices tomorrow and it will ship out either tomorrow afternoon or Tuesday morning after payments been made because I do ship next day. Okay. What else? This is cool. I kind of, I really like little small things like this. Um, Teapot found out the maker's mark is O-T-T-O -T -T -O from the 80s. Okay, that makes sense. I, I wasn't familiar with that marking, but the, the yellow enamel teapot is from the 80s. You can have my 87 degrees. Alex lives in Florida and she claims that she hates it so much because she's so hot there. But then she'll, out when we talk, she's like, oh, look, there's the palm tree behind me. Alex, I love you, and I want, I want to see palm trees. I'm going to go visit Alex here sometime shortly when I'm sick of the snow. Okay, 100 people watching, 99 people watching. That's gonna, as soon as I say that, somebody goes away. So make sure, now 97 people are watching. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up, guys. Okay, this is a... Chatillion, I don't know. The part of it's missing. But this little Chatillion family scale, cute little bitty scale here. And it does have the bottom hook and the top hook. And it has this white metal. Uh, it's made in the USA. It says it is not legal for use or trade. So it's just a little mini, mini scale. And it is $15.50 for the little mini scale. It's so cute. I like stuff like this and it does. I mean, it still has a spring in it. All right. Ooh. What do I want to show next? Someone wanted to see Pyrex. So I will show the Pyrex that I have. And I have, I did sell the snowflake bowl that I showed Friday, but I do have, this is green avocado olives. You can see here, um, here's the, I use washi tape to put price stickers on. Or I did. Someone had a about that. Oh, yeah, washi tape is great. Now, don't put it, you still can't really use it in paper products, but you can use it to put on glassware and it won't stick to it. It doesn't leave a residue. Um, I usually don't put it, still don't put it on paper products, but it is a good thing to put, use for your price stickers and it comes off really easy. Okay, so here is the avocado olives. It's a one and a half quart casserole and it does have the lid. And there's the inside. Woo! It does have a little bit of like, it needs to be cleaned right there, but there's no chips on the lid at all either. Um, it is marked Pyrex on the bottom. What do I have on this? I put the price sticker down because I couldn't see. I have fifteen dollars on that the here. with the lid. Is it the same one? Is it like avocado or verde or something like that? Yeah, so I have two of these. I do have two of these. They're the exact same thing. You're gonna show it. See? Show the lid. <laughs> same thing. They're both. What did I say? 15? 15? 15. dollars for those. Here, I'm going to give you this one too. All right. Uh, I also have some candle glow. 
Pyrex Candle Glow. I have this little soup. I only have one. This little soup handled bowl thing. Candle Glow. It's $5. You can see it's Pyrex. Or no. I'm sorry. This is Fire King. Fire King. Anchor Hawking Fire King. This is also Fire King. It's also the candle. Candle Glow Casserole. This is probably a 1.5. One and a half quart candle glow. No lid, no chips, no cracks, and it's $9. So the candle glow and in this one and in like a little soup bowl. And then I also have two of these Fire King. These are kind of a restaurant wear bowl. I have two of them. They have their, you know, like a serving bowl. They have the blue rim around it. They are Fire King um, 350, number 939. I do have two of them. And they are exactly the same. No chips, no damage. I have $10 each on them. So you can get them both for 20 or you can get one of them for 10 Poshypay at gmail.com. I know, and I've made a mess because I've stacked all this stuff here and I sold that piece of furniture and they're coming to get it on Saturday. So I'm going to have to figure out, maybe I'll just sell all this stuff tonight and then I then I won't have to worry about where I'm going to put it. That would be great. Now, can somebody ask about cookie cutters or cookie molds? How many cookie molds? I don't even know where. We might have put a lot of the cookie cutters away with the Christmas things. I tend to do that because... I don't know. I just can kind of compartmentalize it all together. All right. This is something that's very interesting. And, you know, I collect those um, little wooden salt and pepper shakers. So kind of liked her. She is a family service volunteer. Let me just show. She's wood. She's like, she's got no arms. Um, I don't know why, but she just, and she like unscrews. <laughs> I don't know why but she unscrews her legs and her, I don't think her body does, just her legs come off. But she says, family service volunteer on the bottom, it's painted. And look at her little haircut. Let's see if that will show up. But she's made out of wood, very hourglass figure. Just unusual, it's not marked. I don't know, it, it's just, it, it's in, it intrigued me. But she's $8. So she's a family service volunteer with no arms and she's $8. I don't know. I just thought she was interesting. So there is her. And I have a, what are these? Are these Chromex. Not seeing a maker's mark on these. I'll look and see if there's one on the inside. There's a canister set. This aluminum, spun aluminum canister set. Now this one, I mean, there's some rust. There's some pitting, there's some, there's some issues, and only two of them have lids. So I don't think that they're marked chromex. But, and I don't think, yeah, there's no grease. There's no grease canister. So we've got T. Again, they're they're not perfect. Tea has the lid. There's no lid for coffee. There's no lid for sugar. And, not. and there is a lid for flour. The set of these for all of them are $15. So if you're interested in those, then... Oh my gosh, am I just, did I just get a super chat? Seriously, I've never gotten one before. That's, ex Mark, I just got a super chat. That's exciting to me. Oh, Pat D's. Wouldn't you know it'd be Pat D's giving me a super chat. Thank you, Pat D's. That's the first one I've ever gotten. That's exciting. Wow. This is really exciting. Now, you think that might have been an ink pen? I don't know. It's all wood. Okay, let's see. Plenty to list. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I could 
never go thrifting again, ever, in my, my entire lifetime, probably. And I would have enough stuff to list, but that's not going to happen <laughs> because I like treasure hunting too much. So these are $15. But I just thought that this would be a way to do these live sales. I like being able to talk to you guys anyway. So it would be, it's a way for me to not have to take the pictures and all that kind of stuff. Hi, Mandy Lou and me. Hi. Okay. I just, I can't. Bestie. Quirky girl's on there. My bestie. Happy to lay. Hi, Teresa. Yeah, I think I'm going to start doing these on Sundays. After, Sunday afternoons. I might still do them Fridays. I kind of thought that I might just spend some day, some time in here and set up my photography area and just start listing stuff while I'm in here. But I like to be at home an awful lot. Because, you know, I'm an outgoing person. But I'm a homebody, and I like I like to be home. Okay, next thing I'm going to show is this is really cool. This was actually at my house too, but it is a DecoWare apple. I was going to say cherries, but they kind of look like cherries there for a second, but they're apples. Now this one also has you know some denting in it, but it's this really pretty um, lithograph tin. There's the bottom of it. No rust on the bottom. It's still usable. Well, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. You, I mean, you could keep things in there. I don't know if I'd keep my sugar in there, but it, the bottom of it is a little rusty. Uh, but it is just a kind of a cool piece to put on shelf, and it's $8 plus shipping. So let me know if this is something that you would like to purchase. I have this on, I have a like a red Costco cart in my dining room and i had it on that displayed with other things but you know you have to move on and get different things this is a cool piece it's made by d davar originals from japan i'll show the bottom first it does have the original label and it's the little chip oh let me show the right side the little chip basket it's the bale is still on it and it kind of has um I don't look like a plastic, not really lucite, but a plastic handle to it. Um, the the graphics are just wonderful on this, just this mid-century fun graphic. Um, and I do have this is $15. So let me know. But yeah, this this is a really, really, real cool piece. I just got another super chat. What? Who yeah. sent me that? Pat D's. Hope you get more. Here's the rest of my lunch money. Enjoy watching you and you're great on camera. Love the stuff you're displaying. Well, thank you, Pat D's. I really appreciate that. This is a lot of fun for me. That was a super chat. What? A super chat is where you give a donate to my channel. I know. This is just, this is just fun for me. Um, you know, I was thinking all day it's dreary and I was like, I want to get dressed. I don't want to go to the shop. But I know that if I come here, then I can... I can talk to, to you guys. All right. So this is available to $15. Yes, we've got college tuition to be paying. So every little bit does help. Because we just had to pay that down payment. And that's that's always fun. We'll, we'll get to go on vacation one day when our kids are out of the house. Okay. Hi, Mandy. Mandy Lou. Huh? 118. See, you, you mentioned how many people are watching and someone goes away. That's what, oh, now that's 120. It's going to be 119 here in a minute. Hi, Forza. That's a, I kind of like that name. I like seeing all these. Will you dance for us? Uh, no, <laughs> I will not. Just paid my son's college tuition, so you know. And you, you pay that down payment on tuition and then you got to buy books. And then that's $5 million. So, yeah, it's a lot. So these are really cool. I like this kind of stuff. I don't know if you have any people from California, but these little vintage mid-century, these are, I don't think it's a burl wood or a teak wood, but it's just this little wooden um, canister, not canisters, coasters from California. You can see there's oranges there in the California. And I... And all of the coasters are, they have these little sailboats. Hi, Karen. Well, here you go, Karen. Here's your California, California, California 
Um, coasters. I thought I said canisters again. But these are, they're, it's like carved, but I believe that they're hand painted on there. Hi, Wendy. Hi from Illinois. Mark. It, oh, that's Mark. <laughs> He's right there. If you'd like to buy anything, send an email to posturepaid at gmail.com. But these are all the same. They're all in great condition. Um, and they, I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but they are made in Japan. They have a, this really neat scroll work on them too. I just think that they're cool in this little canister here. Um, it just has, it doesn't stay California on one side, but one side it does. Just a vintage souvenir piece. So those are $8 plus shipping. All right. What else? Tinker Toys. I like this. I think this is cool to have on display. Wooden coasters. Won't they get rings? Not if you're using like a wine glass or a glass with a stem on it. And I mean, I wouldn't use them. I just put them on the shelf. <laughs> That's the way that I usually do. Uh, Mark, give Misty a super chat. He already does. He gives me a super chat every day of his life, don't you, Mark? Yes. He does. Okay, Tinker Toys. Oh, look at the guy on here. Look at the little Tinker Boy. This is um, an original Tinker Toy canister. I'm trying to see if there's a date on it. I don't think that there is. But apparently you could mail this. And it says mail with or without wrapper at two parcel post rates. And this was getting mailed to, um, okay, there might be uh, someone that needs to be poofed. Yeah, need to block. Thank you, Alex. This is what I'm saying. Did I have any lunch boxes? Yeah, Pat, I did. Um, I showed the Yogi Bear lunchbox from 1974. Uh, and it's $23. It does not have the thermos. Okay, fours is back, so you need to walk in bed. It's inappropriate. Okay. Yeah. Go away. <laughs> okay tinker toys this is really cool now there is a little bit of fading um towards the top you can see down here on the bottom it's a little bit you know uh colorful um it does have the original lid and it has now i don't know that they're all there but it has the tinker toys inside um there doesn't it doesn't say how many are supposed to be in here so i don't know but it is the cardboard lid block from channel. Add some trusted winches. Yes, I did. And Quirky, I will. Um, I can't do it now, but I did add some admins before because I knew, you know, trolls will jump in on live and cause all kinds of chaos. Work me up, bestie. I will. Um, I don't know if, Alex, if you can make Quirky Girl a mod, then feel free. Tinker Toy. It's $15, but it's really neat, really neat to be set up on a shelf or like with your Christmas display. It's the Wonder Builder, the Tinker Toy, the Toy Tinkers Incorporated from Evanston, Illinois, USA. All right. Oh, I have another piece of Fire King here. Just a little yellow bowl, just this little yellow Fire King bowl. It's in great condition, and it is. There's Fire King Ovenware. It won't let her. Well, Quirky, I will. I will. Um, before I go live again, I'll make you a uh, an admin because I know that you will. You'll throw the wrench down. But six dollars on this little Fire King cereal bowl. I get, no, well, this is not a cereal bowl for me, but an oatmeal bowl. I don't know. So that is six dollars. And I love this. I just think that this is just quirky and and you can put her in a timeout. Don't put her in a timeout, Alex. But it's just this little, no matter what I serve my guests, they like my instant coffee best. Ugh. But they do. And it has the little spoon attached. 
and it has the cork to keep your instant coffee. Any old wrestler's toys? No. Uh, no, I don't. But I'm always looking for that kind of stuff, Pat, so you never know. Um, but instant coffee with the sp no damage on it. There's no maker's mark. I think it's obviously made in Japan. Um, but that's Scott's favorite coffee is instant coffee. My mother-in-law likes instant coffee sometimes too, but this little guy is $8 plus shipping. And like I said, it does have the, the spoon, which you don't normally find. Now that I'm looking at this, there is one little hairline crack right there. It's not through and through. All right. Thank you, Pat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again. Hi from Texas. Love shopping with you. I love you shopping with me too. You can shop with me all the time. Okay. I've also got, now I like this and I'm not scared to ship um, chalkware. I will ship chalkware. This isn't perfect, but I think that it's really cool. And this is a piece that was probably given away at a carnival, you know, back in the, the 20s, the, you know, even before then, this little sailor guy. He is really, really, you know, I don't have any Fire King pr Primrose. I do, I do know that. But he is, I mean, he he has some imperfections as all most chalkware does. But look at his little stance. And look at, I love his, the color on him. This teal and the yellow and the peach. Um, he's just, he's a carnival prize. He doesn't, he doesn't have any marks on him, any maker's marks. But like I said, I mean, he does have some little imperfections in his little hat. And he's $15. So you have a chalkware lamp and I'm terrified. Yeah, I don't, I, 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 I don't think that I would do a lamp. That would make me nervous. Um, and actually, what? Mid-century pottery, Weller, McCoy, Red Wing, Don't Johnny. I do have, I don't know if it's Shawnee. Um, you do have some. Yeah. Get yeah. Well, what the best thing to do is if you send me an email with things that you're looking for, um, I'll try to pull those things at my le at my next live. So, you know, I can kind of curate those things for you. Would you consider doing sale with Vintage Valentines? Yes. In fact, I've started sorting through, I went to an auction and bought, oh gosh, a whole table full of vintage cards. And I, I wanna say we paid maybe $20, $25 for all of the cards. And I had tons of vintage Christmas cards. I did sell most of those. Um, and I probably have 80 to 100 vintage Valentines. And I'm gonna start sorting through them. I am going to do a video on them. People I have an overwhelming response to me doing a, a video on these Valentines. I don't know. Sometimes I sit and think, oh, that'd be the most boring video ever because it's just me showing a card. But I'll do it and I'm going to lot them up and, and sell them. And I'm, it's going, I'm probably going to film it this week and it'll be up hopefully this week. So that's in the books. I do have some vintage Valentines. Um, and I actually am going to take a box home with me to go through it at home with some Valentine things in it. Yes, I have out Easter cards too and Thanksgiving cards. No Halloween cards. That was a weird thing. I had every other holiday but Halloween, which is a, which is a shame because those are great. But anyway, little chalkware guy is, oh, and he does have, you know, that's probably the biggest little chip that he has in him, but he is $15. All right. Okay, uh, restaurant wear. I have several of these. I'm just going to show two of them. These are Alfred or Albert Pick Co. Incorporated. Um, very. Oh, they're both. They're the tag just fell off of, but I have two of them. Um, gravy boats, but very Art Deco looking gravy boats. And you can see here is the maker's mark. Restaurant wear is becoming pretty, pretty popular. Um, and I have two of these. They're both the exact same size, the exact same maker. Not, they both are in great condition. And they are $6 each for the Albert Pick Co. Liberty Vertified China Gravy Boat. 
six dollars each on these very cool kind of a forest green and black kind of yeah they're the same size Ooh, i don't break them first there are those this one says c41 on the bottom this one says r73 so maybe they're not exactly the same size but they, they sure do look like it all right this next little guy, I just like this stuff. This stuff isn't worth a lot of money, but I just like planters. And there's this little Scotty dog planter. He is, he does have some paint missing along his collar. I have this little eye. Um, are you shipping only? Um, I will ship to Canada. Um, I, you know, if, if you find something that you want, send me an email with your address and I can get you a shipping quote. Uh, so, yes, I will ship to Canada. I mean, obviously, shipping fees will apply, but yes, I will. Um, but this little guy, he the nice thing about him, could you do a walkthrough of your store? Um, yeah. I, I mean, it's a mess in here, guys. But, yeah, I'll, um, oh, hi, Newtons, you have to go. Yes, you have a great time, too, and we're going to set something up where we're going to go thrifting sometime together. I want to go down in Kentucky, so... I'll be getting a hold of you and we'll, we'll set something up. Um, but this guy has a hole in him, so it's nice for drainage if you're putting a plant in here. But he is so cute. He doesn't have any flaws on him. Well, I said, well, no, that's not really a flaw. It's just kind of a piece of dirt. But he's so cute and he is $6. But he, I just, he's a figural dog and people like dogs. And I just think that he's really cool. All right, so I'm going to show a couple more things, and then I'll, I'll do a little, a quick walkthrough. It is a mess in here. We are just, and we're making a bigger mess, it seems like, too. I, I do, I feel like we both feel like a huge weight has been lifted off our, our shoulders. Again, we, we, um, our, we don't have, we own the building outright. So, I mean, I don't know a lot of people are like, well, I can't believe you're, 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 you're closing up the, the building because you're closing up the shop because, you know, you, you kind of have it made. Well, we want our, our, your time is precious and we want our, we want to kind of want our lives back. So we're looking at options um, as far as we're, we're wanting to sell the building and we've totally remodeled this building. So we've, we've, we've got a lot of time and energy and, and money into the building itself, but the apartment we completely remodeled um, upstairs too. My dad's currently living there, but we're wanting to find something where we can all have, that can live with us. We're gonna move and, and you know, in the same, we're staying in the same county, but um, we can all have our own space and possibly maybe have a little area to have a little, you know, an occasional shop or something like that. But we, we want to be able to have our weekends back to, you know, do the things that we want to do go to kentucky to go picking or you know just not do anything on a saturday that's the goal okay so a couple more things this i love cutting boards and this one is made by or it's woodpecker woodware made in japan yeah i mean this side has been used because you know you see these painted ones and they usually always say not to use this side before for obvious reasons but this size, you know, it has been, it does have some, some knife marks on it, but it has these roosters on it. I love cutting boards. I like to layer them in my house, you know, just kind of have different layers of wood. So this is a nice vintage one and this is $6. So that is available. And what else did I want to show? Oh, now I'm... Okay, aren't these cool? There are two of them there. Now, if you're local or if you want to come here, um, I'm not going to ship lamps. I know, I, I'm not usually scared to ship most of anything, but I'm not shipping these lamps. These are very, very cool mid-century lamps. Um, is that better? Yeah. Really cool, no shade, but, they, but I have $65 for the pair of them. So I'm not shipping lamps because, well, that I won't sleep and I, I want I want to be able to go to sleep at night. Okay, I think I'm gonna show 
two more, three more things. Three more things and then I'll kind of do a little walkthrough. Um, seems like having an antique booth would I be ideal. I, you would think, but I don't want to pay somebody rent. That's the thing. I, I haven't had to pay a mortgage on the building. I don't want to pay someone rent. I'm just, I don't know. We, we've considered that too, but we don't want to. <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do. Um, okay. This is a really cool, there's no mark on it. It is a metal tissue box holder with the little puta schnuda right there and the little lamp post. Very 1950s. It has um, the jewel. Well, the poodle has a little bit of issues. He's missing his jewel or she's missing her jewel eye. Um, and then one of the flowers is missing their little rhinestones there too. And so is the lamp post. But that's an easy fix. And this is $10. It's in great condition. You just put your tissues in there and you've got a cool little uh, vintage um, tissue holder. It does have a little bit of rust there, though. I'm going to make sure that you guys see that. That's the only thing that that makes me a little nervous because when I like to, when I buy things, I want to see it and touch it and feel it and make sure that I'm getting what I think I'm getting. Okay, and then I want to show... This is really neat. This is a little vintage sweet and low. Is that going to pick up? Boop, boop. Can you see the sweet and low logo on there? It's on both sides. It does have the little, the spoon that goes with it. Another piece of like restaurant wear that would be in a restaurant. Um, and this is $10 for the little sweet and low bowl. What are you doing? Oh, he's going through the Valentine stuff. I don't know why. Oh, you see if there's anything good in the Valentine. Well, what you consider good and what I consider good are two totally different things. All right. Two more things. The next thing are these really cool. These are Premier, or no, Palmer Plastic, made in the USA. Really cool retro salt and pepper shakers with the P and the S, this red. Um, a very kind of atomic looking and the caps are cream color. They are embossed on the bottom with the maker's mark and they are $6 for them. And I do believe, yeah, you unscrew the top and that's where the salt and pepper goes. Very cute to be in a like a little vintage camper. Again, I'm going with a vintage camper thing, but I would just love to be able to decorate a vintage camper. I'd like to have like a modern camper, but I'd like to decorate a vintage camper. Okay, so there are those. And then I have a frog planter. This is not McCoy. It does have crazing on it. At least I don't think that it's McCoy. I mean, it could be, it's not marked McCoy. It does have crazing on the bottom. That's not a, no, that's a making sure that's not a maker's mark. No chips in it at all. It's got this really kind of cool diamond design on him. And he is $15. Apple changer. How much? Oh, he does have a little on the bottom of his foot. A little thing. Yeah. The bottom of his foot, he does have a little chip. The apple canister, but that's the only one. Um, the apple canister was $8 plus shipping on the apple canister okay speaking of adams why can't you trust adam's joke alert quirky you are hilarious okay so i think that's all that i'm going to show as far as the the stuff i actually i'll do a little bit of a quick tour but there are i do have videos that that i did do a, a shop tour but it's I mean, I'm gonna take you off my tripod, and so it's gonna get a little, um, a little uh, wonky. So let me turn the camera around, and I'll give you a little bit of a tour. Okay, so you can see here, 2,500 square feet is how much space we have, and Mark's gonna go hide. And I mean, some of the furniture here I'm keeping, but if I just kind of walk 
through. You know, like here was the blue section. I'll try to just kind of scroll. Now, some of this stuff, I don't know if I like some of these cookie jars and stuff. I'm just not, I'm, I'm not going to ship those, but. So there's a lot of stuff. I mean, I really, I'm not going to be able to go through every single thing, but if you send me an email, if you, you know, spot something or, or if you're just looking for something in general, um, I have some ironstone pieces that I'm, that I'm going to keep. I'm going to take home with me, but I do have some vintage aprons. Um, so, I mean, it's a mess. It's a, it's a huge mess in here, but I mean, this isn't even the back room. We have the back room full of stuff too, but, um, you know, I've got a lot of these. I might just maybe do, try to do like little sections. Like I have all of these vintage, like bathroom, um, little things and some more vintage pieces or some Brasso. I, I've sold a lot of the salt and pepper shakers, but I mean, I'm trying to go through and kind of pull out the things that I'm wanting to keep, the things that I'm wanting to uh, to list. And this is Pinky. Pinky is going wherever I'm moving. Pinky is going with me because I, this is my favorite piece of furniture, and just the 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 display capabilities of that, as well as I think I'm probably keeping this little washing machine. Why I don't know, but it's it's cool. Um. So it's, we've got a lot, there's a lot of stuff and we've, we've cleaned out a lot, but we still have a lot to go through. And this whole area back here is just filled with, I call it man antiques, but it's, it, it's more manly things, I guess you could say some of the beer advertisement pieces and some old tools, um, some like oil cans and that kind of of thing and a wheel but like here's the back room and it's full it's filled with stuff too i mean it's what we have to deal with and we're gonna figure it out but this piece i'm keeping as well um so just a lot of stuff but we'll get there signals bad back there okay yeah i figured it probably would be let me go to the front i'm gonna make you all sick while i do it let me go back up here because the signal does get wonky when i'm when I'm back there. Um, I do, what'd you do with that shirt, Mark? The one that was on the hanger? One thing I was gonna show too, I don't know if anybody's interested, but we do have some of these shirts left and we're just, we're selling them for $10 shipped. So <clears throat> I have a couple smalls and a couple two X's, but they're, be, huh? And, and an X. And an X. So let me know if, if that's something that you would want to, and we can talk about that, but, um, but yeah, that is, let me turn the camera back around. Thank you for the walkthrough. You are welcome. And let me turn this back around. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This is fun for, for me. And um, it's, it, but I did make it, I, I did make it more of a mess than when I came in with. So I'm hoping that I'll look through my emails and I'll see some things that I get to take home and package up. Um, but, um, I really appreciate you watching. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up. There are 112 people watching right now and 56 thumbs ups. Leave a comment when the video goes, you know, when it's not live, even if it's just a smiley face, it really does help boost, um, any, any, any channel that you watch. Always try to leave some sort of a little comment of some sort. And uh, it does help everybody. We put a lot of time in these videos, so make sure that you um, you do like people's stuff that they put out for you. And I will see you guys very soon. I will be putting some videos out next week. I'm gonna do the Valentine video, so keep out, keep a look for that. I have some friend mail that I'm gonna open, and I will see you guys in my next video. This was fun. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.